Welcome back everybody for another review. I uh, haven't done one of these in a while, but uh, you know, I have, I've had this Sonic the Hedgehog uh, four pack sitting on my desk since uh, the movie came out. I was a big Sonic guy growing up. I had the Sega Genesis. I paid, bought it with my own money and uh, had a ton of games for it and I, I really love Sonic. Uh, I never really got into the mates, uh, but then I went and saw the movie and kind of fell in love with the character again. And the, the movie, if you would think, would be garbage. It, it's got all the signs of not being a very good movie uh, for a video game. You know, it takes place on Earth and there's other human actors, and it's not really what I want to see. Rarely works out, uh, in my opinion, having these characters, you know, not on their their normal setting like in a video game but uh but the movie is actually really good i would check it out i recommend it for sure but uh yeah i had to buy the mini mates right away uh there's only a four pack um and we at least got sonic tales and uh dr robotnik they call him dr eggman i don't know why they're calling him that in this if that they, that's an updated name or what the deal is but uh he will always be dr robotnik to me so Anyways, uh, this four pack comes with Sonic, Amy, Tails, and Dr. Eggman, but I watched the cartoon a couple episodes, didn't like that either, I guess, it just wasn't my thing, uh, so I don't know much about Amy, but uh, Sonic and Tails and, and Dr. Robotnik, you know, it's it, it's very cool to have a mini-mate form, but uh, yeah, let's get to it, let's take them out of uh, the box, look at a tray shot real quick. So here they are, uh, it, just in the tray. I was kind of worried that Tails' uh, belly wasn't white. You know, like if you look at Sonic, his stomach has that that white patch or whatever. Uh, and I, you know, I was looking at Tails, and he didn't have that. So I was kind of a little worried. I was wondering what that was going to look like. But it uh, looks like his torso up there, um, you know, kind of covers that. But, uh, yeah, they look fantastic. Dr. Robotnik look, looks really good. These might be a, a four-pack I just kind of display on one of my random shelves in my comic room. Just because they're, uh, I really like the look of them. At least the three of them. I'll, I may as well put up Amy or whatever anyways. But, uh, yeah, anyways, uh, let's take them out of the tray and uh, get a closer look at them. Yeah, they are, uh, you know, four really nice-looking mini-mates. I'm glad I finally bought them. I uh, don't really care that much. The All the other ones they showed, I wish I had Knuckles, but other than that, all the other concepts they showed, I really wasn't into. They didn't have any of the the characters you had to, you know, kill in the video games or destroy or whatever, like robots with the little animals inside of them. We, you, we just didn't, we didn't get those at all. So, um, you know, that's what I would have really liked is... is Something straight out of the game, not the cartoon as much, but um, at least we got these three, four, I guess. Um, but yeah, it would have been nice to have Knuckles and some of those other characters, those other uh, just kind of army builder characters. So um, yeah, just Tails has got a molded you know, torso piece that his tails hang off of. They're both there. It would have been nice to have an attachment for a, a flying tail, the spinning tail where he flies to catch up with Sonic. That would have been kind of neat. Um, and then, but otherwise, you know, the face is great. Everything else is molded perfectly. But, uh, so then there's Sonic. He, I really like him too. They did a great job with him. You know, it's funny after seeing the movie, uh, he had blue arms in the movie. And when I bought it, I thought, God, did they screw that up? Or was he always like that? And he was actually always like, he always had the, the tan arms, which kind of doesn't make much sense. Uh, you know, that's, that's how they made him in the game. But, uh, kudos to Diamond for, for uh, making a true to the video game Sonic, I did think about uh, going back and just changing all the blue arms. Anyways, just because because I think it looks better. But no, I'm gonna keep it the keep it the way it's supposed to be. Um, yeah, and Doctor Robotnik, man, he just <laughs> he might be my favorite out of the four pack. You know, he's such a cool looking character. Uh, I just uh, I I just enjoy that we have him. Um, I've tried to come up with a few. Uh, ideas on on you know how to make some of his vehicles i kind of got something in the back of my head but i can't find all the pieces for it but uh who knows what will happen with him in the future i, I think i'm going to take the easy way out and just do a lab shot with him but uh the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do a shot that uh, has sonic overlooking some lava on just kind of a st structured kind of uh you know castle looking interior i think it's mostly loosely based off the second level of 
the uh, first video game is, is kind of where I came up with this idea. But let's go to that shot. All right, so here we got uh, just basically, yeah, a lava shot uh, with Sonic looking at his watch uh, as if you're trying to uh, decide whether or not you're going to jump out uh, of the lava. This is kind of, kind of yeah, an ode to that second level in uh, the first Sonic uh, game. So uh, just some, basically some, some a fluorescent bulb wrapped in some red tissue paper, some rocks, this doorway that looks like a castle. Uh, and it turned out very well. Just, just that lava underneath Sonic's feet just really works well if you use that tissue paper, uh, that you know the the red tissue paper with over a light. It just works. Looks just like lava pretty much. So, uh, yeah, really like this one. Turned out great. Uh, can't say enough good things about it. So let's go on to another one. All right. So our next picture is uh, classic Sonic and uh, Tails. I wish, like I said, I wish we had the spinny. Tails, but this will work just fine. Uh, turned out really good. Uh, we have our uh, kind of greenish, uh, you know, jungle woods kind of um, setup here. We got a bunch of different stuff from craft stores. The plastic trees are Playmobil. There's a wall there that's from uh, uh, Michael's Craft Store. And that pathways from Michael's Craft Store. And yeah, just basically, um, yeah, basically setting up some kind of running trail with these two on it. Sonic, or excuse me, Tails is up on a piece of, his piece of wax stuck on a wood doll and his head's popped off and it's, uh, you know, basically 90 degrees. His head is 90 degrees of what his, his head would normally be and then propped up uh, inside that tree uh, just to give him that flying appearance. Uh, so yeah, it's another one that turned out really good for Sonic. I was very afraid of how these were going to work out because, um, you know, it's just, it's... It's kind of hard to do his landscapes and stuff, but uh, this seems to be working out pretty well. So, uh, anyways, let's go on to another one. Guys, so last picture, we have Dr. Robotnik uh, kind of in a lab type setting. You guys have seen me do this kind of stuff. Uh, it's like Forge recently. Just packing uh, figures in there really tight and then taking a picture as if they're in kind of a claustrophobic area because... You know, this will really get cropped down quite a bit just above his head and then just the console that he's at uh, just to give it an appearance that he is inside of some kind of tight uh, spot. You know, like maybe he's inside of one of his his, his uh, machines or maybe he's in his, his headquarters. But just basically surrounding him with uh, gear, you know, his, his electronics and stuff. So that'll make for a cool picture, nice and tightly cropped, uh, very claustrophobic, uh, yeah. So anyways, uh, that'll be it for this video. Um, we'll, we'll probably revisit Sonic someday. I just I gotta think of a few things to do with him. But uh, it was great to finally get him out. Finally get this four pack reviewed. Uh, check out the movie if you guys get time. I really enjoyed it. Uh, and otherwise, hit that like and subscribe button. Check out the description of this video for uh, the links to my Instagram and Facebook page. Check that out for all my mini-made pictures. Uh, and we'll see you at the next video. Bye now.